that before. Thank you very much indeed, Max. Always that nervy atmosphere down in the tunnel. Any match against Brazil is special for a player, isn't it? Spot on, Ian. But it, uh, the big storyline is the Mexico gang October 10th. Well, if you're going to play a team to get up for it and get the emotions high, this is the opponent you want. You don't want a CONCACAF opponent. You want Brazil. Mexico's playing Argentina. We got two great friendlies here tonight. And that's one thing with Brazil. For them, nothing is a friendly. They live under a huge media glare where every performance is scrutinized. It really did burn the very soul of the game in that country when they lost 7-1 at home, astonishingly, in that World Cup semi-final against Germany. Still rebuilding after that. But they did come a cropper in the quarterfinals of the Copa America as well. And as Max was telling you, the USA just can't seem to find a way to beat Brazil. They've lost the last nine times they've played them. The only time they've won was 1998 Gold Cup semi-final in Los Angeles. And Preki got the winner. Remember that? Well, I remember Casey Keller making, I think, 1,100 saves that night, standing on his head, which he is in this stadium tonight. <laughs> yeah, had some game there, didn't he? We shouldn't keep boosting him up, though, should we? No, we're done. <laughs> There's David Luiz. Part of that Brazil side which suffered that humiliation against the Germans. They, of course, Brazil, are leading up to their World Cup qualifying campaign, which starts very, very soon now. USA still in something of an experimental phase, but that experimentation has to end pretty quickly now with that massive game against Mexico on October the 10th. going to be a special presentation by the way free kickoff for Michael Bradley to mark his 100th cap that was a while ago he's up to 106 in fact male player in US history to hit the century mark here to recognize this accomplishment please welcome US soccer president Sunil Gamati as he presents Michael with a special gift from US soccer commemorating his 100th match for the US national team Ladies and gentlemen, the USA's newest member of the Century Camp Club, Michael Bradley. Well, he's been a fantastic servant, hasn't he? And, and what a moment for his family. His wife, Amanda, his kid, Luca and Quinn, his two sisters, Carrie and Ryan. And I can guarantee you one thing. His mom, Lindsay, and his dad, Bob, are watching somewhere in Europe at 3 o'clock in the mor morning. What a great moment for the Bradleys. Yeah, his dad, the uh, former coach, of course, of the USA. I have a feeling that Michael might one day be a future coach. That's a long time down the road, Ian. Yeah, he hopes so. National anthems, of course, of the two competing nations coming up first of all. For the national anthem of Brazil.
our supporters groups in singing the Star Spangled Banner. Good atmosphere and the USA might feel they're away from home tonight. There are thousands of Brazil supporters. So the USA against the five times world champions here. And with the USA, you've got to expect the unexpected. It really has been a topsy-turvy old summer, hasn't it? It's been interesting, Ian. When you look at their summer, they've gone to Europe. They've won against Netherlands. They've won against Germany. They beat Peru Friday night who finished third in Copa America, but they dropped the ball when they lost to Jamaica in the Gold Cup, Gold Cup semifinal. Ian, we are here for a U.S.-Brazil game, and it's a tune-up game for U.S.-Mexico in October. Jurgen Klinsmann, ton of questions coming into tonight. How many of those are answered? That's the big storyline. And it is a glamour game, I think, in its own right as well. Let's have a look at the USA team. Three changes from the team which beat Peru on Friday. Michael Bradley is back as captain. Ventura Alvarado in defense, Jeff Cameron back on home territory. He grew up about 10 minutes down the road from here in at right back tonight. So those are the players in, in the uh, side there. First time since the World Cup, we see Bradley and Jones in the midfield, but all eyes will be on the first time Orozco and Alvarado have played together for the United States. Jürgen Klinsmann, that was a horrible defeat against Jamaica. A game the USA needed to win. He's, he's under a little bit of pressure, isn't he, just at the moment? Listen, Sunil Galati can give all the confidence in the world he wants to, but pressure snowballs, and even Klinsmann knows that. We may be at the tipping point October 11th after the Mexico game in California. Brazil in some kind of transition. Bit, bit of a story about Neymar, of course, the star player, who says he's not willing to be a substitute. But he's had months recently. He's banned from their first two World Cup qualifiers, so he's not in again tonight. No, but a staple under Dunga is two defensive midfielders with Gustavo and Elias. But no Neymar? OK, Douglas Costa, who's lit it up for Bayern Munich. Jeff Cameron has his hands full. Dunga, the captain of Brazil when they won the World Cup in the United States in 1994, back for a second spell. Pragmatic, isn't Don't it? Don't expect Samba football. No, it, it, he's been brought in to bring some order. He's very pragmatic. We see it with his lineup. He'll attack with four or five, but a staple under Dunga is defending with that block of six. But Brazil still a very, very decent side.